hello everyone today in this video i'm going to first create the chat gpt account and then i'm going to process the further so let's visit this openai.com url and uh, then this will this one with uh, this one is the official documentation of uh, this open ai so just click on this sign up i'm going to create an account into this open ai so that's uh, then i'm able to use this chat gpt so you can simply continue with google or you can enter your email right so here i'm uh, logging it using an email and uh, it says that it's going to log in you right and yes it's asking me my name so let me add my name uh, organization is optional you can enter this out then it's going to send the message on the phone number and then you need to uh, add your number and then your uh, after confirmation of your number it will be verified and uh, in the interface it will open like this right so i already signed in, in this profile so i'm skipping this step right so you can uh, you can sign up through this one right so here uh, chat gpt is uh, properly configured and i'm logging into this chat gpt that's why i'm able to access this command line right so here i'm going to uh, create my application using chat gpt right so the very first thing is we need the command to create the project right so what's the command so we are asking we are going to ask this to chat gpt uh, create laravel application using composer okay hit enter sure here are the steps install first composer yes we are going to create it through composer so first we need to install the composer so i have already installed the composer and here it's uh, told us a command composer create project and it's also added the preferred distribution flag and also laravel slash laravel and here we need to specify our name right but in the uh, before in the laravel 7 if i go to the laravel 7 documentation it's added this preferred distribution uh, this um, flag right but in the uh, in the latest uh, 8 9 10 so this one would be removed so you can add this or you can skip this out so i skip this out and do install this application here using this command right I go here go to this top uh, composer create project and I name this laravel 10 and this one is successfully installed right so I did this for the time saving and I switch this into this one and I have also opened this uh, here in the VS code right so now let's go here and open this out here laravel 10.test i'm using the laragon and it's automatically set up this uh, my local domain and if you don't know what is laragon and how to set up the laragon environment so i have full playlist on it so i will add the link in the description so watch it to, uh, from very first video and it will teach you that how to run the laravel application how to run multiple application how to change the php version and stuff like that so it's very life saving before this i'm using the xamp but now I'm a big fan of this lot of gone, right? So our installation is successfully completed and here I have also opened my application. So now what's next? So the next is let me close them here and here I'm going to ask this chat GPT. So I want to install the Laravel GUI because I need the uh, login register functionality right so i'm a big fan of laravel gui i'm going to use a bootstrap that's why i'm going to install the laravel gui so i'm going to ask this chat gpt that to uh, tell me the commands uh, which are used to install the chat gpt and uh, look that what's going to happen install uh, install uh, what's the name of this uh, install laravel gui ui package okay enter this and uh, what's it's going to ask sure here are the steps to install this laravel ui great it's now uh, su suggesting us the um, command yes it's correct copy this command and here i'm going to open this terminal here i'm going to 
do these steps in the live environment right paste this out hit enter and it will start this so instantly and yes it's started right and now what's next it's telling us that if you are generating this for the bootstrap so you can execute this out and also you can add this flag to generate the uh, admin admin register login stuff and if you are using this for uh, ui uh, view so you can do this react and then when css and it's amazing right i'm going to copy this stuff and uh, here let's uh, paste this out and enter this out and get it state this and here we need to run this npm uh, install first and then i'm going to run this npm run dev okay so in the latest version of uh, laravel 9.19 and after this uh, latest version so webpack is uh, replaced with the v2js right if you are using v2 so make sure to run your files using npm run dev and you need to always turn on this when you are developing your application right if your application is completed so you can compile your asset using npm run build right so now it's uh, completed and here i'm going to run this npm run dev right so it's going to compile our uh, compile our files yes it's compiling uh, as we are using this npm run watch right so now let's go here uh, i think i already opened this out so let's go here and give it a refresh and yes we have a login functionality and a register one right okay great chat gpt did a great job and here we got the login and register functionality right so uh, now i want to here show you one more thing that if i go here and pause this out i close this npm run dev so now it's going to throw an error that we manifest.json not found right it's throwing this one right if you want to get rid of uh, this uh, problem so we need to run this uh, npm run build but remember if you are developing your application so do this using npm run dev so it's going to compile your files if you are changing something in your files so it's going to reload your file at the runtime but if you run this npm run build yes go to this public directory here there is no build uh, directory but if i run this out so it will compile my all files and add uh, a build directory here and add my all of the files here into this build directory right and uh, after this uh, uh, if i'm going to the blade file and change something in the weed configuration right configuration uh, stuff so it's not going to affect these changes right so for this i need to run this again npm run build and then it will uh, recompile our file and add new functionality into our uh, into our blades right so here now this one is uh, build directory is added right great we are successfully if i go here and refresh this so it's going to work and yes it's uh, working fine right okay great we did a great job here i'm going to register a new user and then i'm going to connect with the database also migrate the database and in the next video i'm going to tell you that how to uh, migrate the database we are also going to ask this uh, using chat gpt and um, much more things uh, chat gpt is amazing and you can also see this in the next video so i'll meet you in the next one bye bye guys